in this video you're basically gonna learn how to date how to see the date of some things or anything like that and also you're gonna learn time series using pandas that also that's you know let's in this video you're basically gonna see what we're gonna see what, how to like get the date or play with the date using pandas and also we're gonna see what exactly is time series and we're gonna see how do we use time series in pandas let's begin so first we're gonna import pandas as usual and then you're gonna say d underscore parser remember is equal to lambda x lambda is basically a method you can say it's lambda is a method and then you're gonna say pd dot date time you're gonna get the date time over here so else you have another way you can just import the date and you can do that but here we are using it pandas so you're gonna say pd dot date time dot strip time and you're gonna put all the date kind like this is just kind of code you're gonna say x comma the percentage of x minus the percentage of y percentage of m minus percentage of d percentage of i divided by percentage of p so this is basically the formula for calculating it and then you can say pd dot read at one dot csv so i'll be providing this complete set this complete series code in the description below using github so do not worry about the code and then you can say pass underscore date is equal to date so here you're setting the date and you're gonna say date comma date underscore parser is equal to d underscore parser. So this d underscore parser date is d underscore parser. That's what we mean. And this is the head. You're gonna get the date, the symbol, the open time, and the high, low, close, volume, and everything about that. So this is the data of it. And then you're gonna you're gonna get the data. I mean you're gonna get the date. You can see you're gonna get the date name actually you're gonna say df dot lock you're gonna put a square bracket and you're gonna say zero comma date so here you're gonna say that date dot day name so you're gonna get the day name of it you're gonna say dot day date but you're gonna get the day name because you have put dot day name and then you're gonna say df dot date dot dt dot day underscore name you're gonna get all the names the dates and their you know their dates that day you're the day you're getting so you're, the length is here data type is object and then you're gonna say df dot day of week you're gonna get the date date time so here you go this is the date time symbol everything is here you have 23,674 rows and eight columns and then you're gonna get, get the dates minimum so here you're gonna get here this is the minimum in all the data full data this is the minimum and then you're gonna get the maximum over here you can see this is the maximum date over here and then you're gonna get the max minus minimum so this is the max minus minimum the dates maximum minus the minimum you're gonna get this result and then you're gonna say filter is equal to df square bracket date and you're gonna say greater than or equal to pd to date time so we're gonna say df dot date is greater than or equal to pd dot date time and it's this it satisfies both so that you're gonna call it as filter when it satisfies both that you're gonna call it as filter and then you're gonna get the filter here you go so these many are the filters that you're gonna get that says this date is going to be more or equal to the date time and this is the date and also it's going to be and also date is going to be smaller than the date time so these are the two like these are the filters that that satisfy these conditions and then you're gonna say df dot set index of date you're gonna set the index of date you can see you get the index over here now and then df and then you're gonna say df dot 2019 you're gonna get the 2019's data so here you go you're gonna get the 2019's data the complete data you're gonna get day of the week and everything you're gonna get and then this is the date which you want to get so here you go this is the date that starts with 21 2021 2020 and 2 so these are the things i mean 2022 2023 like that and this you're gonna get the mean this close i hope you guys can see this parameter i mean this feature called as close you're gonna put the date over here and then you're gonna put a square bracket and say close and you get a meet mean so this date this close once at this date you're gonna get the mean so on 195.16 one point 195.16 is the mean of it 
and then the high dot maximum you're gonna get the maximum so in this date in this 2021 you're gonna get the high you can see 2021 one which means january 2021 the new year time you're gonna get the high this feature high here over here and you're gonna get the maximum in it so in this high the maximum is going to be 132.68 and you're gonna say highs is equal to df dot high resample the d you're gonna get the max of this that says you're gonna resample it you're gonna get re like you know get the re resample it that you say you're gonna re like rename kind of thing and then you're gonna get highs this one's 2021 this one's that's it and then you're gonna import matplotlib and you're gonna say highs dot plot. So highs dot plot basically means like you have this and it's gonna plot this this highs over here. It's gonna plot a figure. I mean it's gonna plot a graph. And this is the graph. And then you're gonna say resample of W mean. This is gonna be resample of W, A, close, mean, high, max, all of them. So this is gonna be like this. So basically you know how to use the date and you know how what exactly is time series. Time series basically means like this time over here. How do we use using pandas how do we get the time that's what it means you can see here. You're gonna get the time. So now we know what exactly is you know how to get time you know you know how to get time using pandas and also you know how to get the date and day of pandas. That's great.